hi this is another elf haul it's not a large elf haul but if you like to see the stuff i got from elf please keep on watching so like i said it's not a large elf haul um not essentials i really should not have purchased some of these things but i did because i mainly fell in love with these translucent translucent mattifying powder i plan to do a review on it I have the translucent one and this one is actually called corrective which has like a yellow tint so I'm very curious to see how well this works maybe on the eye or just all over the face but I have the translucent and I really like it if you want to review and see swatches let me know the next item I actually picked up was this St. Lucia blush and bronzer duo now I have Antigua and I had Ticks and Kegos but a friend of mine took the Turks and Caicos and I wasn't fussy about getting it back. But my St. Lucia bronzer did finish. Well, I finished the blush first and then the bronzer finished after. And I was using the Antigua one. But the bronzer for the Antigua is like really, I find it's dark. I don't too like it that much You because I find it gives a more chiseled out contour where I like something just really natural. And the blush is not all that pigmented in my opinion. Now this one is not it's slight I think but somehow I just like how this blush looks on me and the bronzer. So combination wise I like the two that's here in the Antigua. I actually like the blush more than the bronzer and in the um, Turks and Caicos I think I actually like the bronzer more in that one. So to me this is a balance an awesome balance of both and I actually like it next product would actually be this um, golden bronzer in golden I had this a long time back I bought it and every time I buy it some friend will always take it from me and I just decided here I want to pick up one to use I don't know if the formula has changed but I remember really really liking this to warm up my face and I know I have a couple um, I have a couple foundations that are light, especially those BB creams, so definitely need to do some warming up with this. In addition to that, I picked up this gold um, glow on the skin. I was going to pick up, I was considering Got to Glow um, from the studio line, and then this one is like $2, where that one is 3 and I was wondering if it's about the same thing because this is a golden bronzer, um, golden shimmer. So I thought, okay, let me try it because, you know, I like highlighters even though I shouldn't be buying anymore. Just thought I will try this. And then it, it was a recommendation of this blush, which is called Flushed. And a friend of mine recommended me to try this um, blush. So I thought, she said, this really gives you a nice flush for your skin. It's really perfect for work. I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking it might be a little too light, but I'm hoping that it can work out. Next, I pick up something that I generally always pick up with my orders, and that would be this makeup removing cleansing cloth. Love this. I just I picked up a couple of these, um, but I'm just showing you one. Really like this. Um, comparable to this would be my Fresh and Soft. The Fresh and Soft is actually much cheaper than this, um, but I had ordered this prior to realizing how much in love I am with that wipes but I really like this this is really an awesome wipe takes off your eye makeup and your face makeup another staple would be this um, elf tree in one mascara I always I'm always gifting this mascara until the people that have gifted they're once it's finished they're asking me for it so I pick up a couple of these I really really love this mascara I think it's very comparable to the clum crusher definitely it's a good recommend for you to pick up it's really inexpensive then I picked up this travel mirror which I thought just looked cute you know I thought initially I would have picked up the pink but somehow I picked up the purple I think because um, I have just been on a purple kick very very interesting but I've been on a purple kick and I actually like this so more than how the pink was looking so I like this and I'm gonna put this in my bag very soon I wonder if the bag has the gems too and it doesn't look like if the black, the back of it has the gems. No. So it's only the top that has the gems. Very interesting. Then the last item I picked up and I thought I would get it because I saw a lot of reviews on this. And, and this is a 96 eyeshadow palette. The Geometric Holiday Edition one. And a lot of people raved about the quality of these palettes. 
everyone I know that purchased it said they really liked it and that the quality was much different from the regular um, palettes that e.l.f. in the past years would actually um, bring out. So I was really skeptical about getting it. Didn't really want to invest in another big palette from e.l.f. but felt since everyone said it was really nice thought I would pick it up. So it's white. I'm not a fan of the white because of course I believe everything will get nasty. But this is what it looks like. And so you have, I like the, one thing I must say I do like the variation of colors. It's, there are not too many bold colors which I personally don't like. So in the greens here there's just a couple bright bright colors. In the blues here there's like more warm colors and just a couple bright ones. I'm not a fan of like really red colors so there's limited reds because I find red really makes me look like if you know I'm tired. Then you have a nice array of warm colors here. You do get a matte black that's up here and that's a perfect size of a matte black for me because I'm not a person to wear a lot of blacks. But um, there's a couple matte browns here that look very nice. So if you're interested with me doing a review, swatches or first impression of this palette, let me know. It's the 96 um, eyeshadow, ge well, geometric eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. So that pretty much is my haul. I don't think I missed out anything. No, I didn't. That's my haul. Nothing too outrageous. Um, wanted to pick up some lip products but resisted because he... I have way too many lip products. But I know they have their new lipsticks. A lot of the colors that I wanted were sold out. So that's why I didn't pick up any of the new lipsticks. And I think I saw some lip glosses or something like that. So yeah, I was like, when I checked the new stuff, most were sold out. I was like, okay, at least, you know. But it's like if you don't catch all these new products on time, they're always going out of stock. Anyhow, hopefully I can get those some of those new products to review for you guys. Let me know what you're interested in a review and I'll try and do it for you all. So until next time, bye.